Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to, well, actually to the first Wednesday upload during Halloweens. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. In Halloweens, Mondays and Fridays, my usual upload days are scary movies in night vision. On Wednesdays, we're doing something a little bit lighter, a little feel good, because I know spooky scary is not everybody's vibe. If you haven't read the title or seen the thumbnail, it is Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, brought to you by... 1,000th ghost in the comments, Chris in real life. Now, if you're new here, I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time, and I give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference, and what the hell do I know? So today, like I said, is Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. I think this has been requested so much, at least for Hello Beans, Chris did get me to watch Abbott and Costello a few months ago, and I really enjoyed it. Honestly, you know, like this one's from 48. I can't remember where the last one, well, like when it's from, but I mean, you got Abbott and Costello, you got the straight man and the funny guy, and it's just like slapstick comedy, you know, fresh from the silent films where they were having to do really over the top physical comedy, and so I really enjoyed the first one, and while I have never seen the original Frankenstein, I do know who Frankenstein is. I understand the concept, and I mean, well, I've never seen the original Frankenstein. I did watch Young Frankenstein, so like, it kind of counts. I'm really excited that this is honestly the first Wednesday upload because it's only an hour and 20 minutes, which I mean, you can fit plenty of adventure and comedy into that. I really enjoyed the first Abbott and Costello, and I also love watching older movies anyway. So, my life just went out. Spooky. I guess that's my cue. No more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's Wednesday upload during Hello Beans, which is the 1948 Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Very Looney Tooney right now, though. Is that Abbott and Costello's skeletons? Okay, that's cute. Bella Lugosi! Is that supposed to be the Bride of Frankenstein? I haven't seen that movie either. Okay, that was a really fun intro, are you kidding me? Look at them britches! Them crisp pleats! Oh, it takes time to call from London to the States. That's so wild. Now we just hop on our little computer phones and like, I can be anywhere in the world. Which one do you want me to answer first? Both of them. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that hat is something. <laughs> what? I already know what's gonna happen. Do not pull it. I hurt my poor little head. Oh, your little your head. head? You hurt your little head? Tell me more. I will. At dinner tonight. Ooh, and then she might show you after dinner. You know what I'm saying? Frankly, I don't get it. And frankly, you never will. It ain't your business to get, honestly. Go look at yourself in the mirror sometime. Why should I hurt my own feelings? <laughs> Never mind that. Tonight the moon will be full here. Oh, I'm so ready for this. The transformation is taking place! Listen, it ain't no American hey. werewolf in London, but it, it'll it do. Just to have your dog talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> But I just talked to you on the telephone from London. How'd you get here so fast? They shoot you out of a cannon? <laughs> you know it's impolite to raise your voice? Oh, chick! <laughs> Insured for $20,000. We'd better look these up. $20,000? And in this year? It had to be, you know, a lot more than that in today's currency. Coffin containing the remains of the original Count Dracula. There's the body of the Frankenstein monster. Wow, okay. I got them dirt cheap. European agent, pick my name right out of thin air. That sounds a little sus, don't it? Silly boy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She is beautiful. Good for you for being in love with a little cutie patootie. Wow, he's really brave. Hold still. Now get down. Why would you pull it while he's on top? How'd they get, how'd they get that to work? How'd they do that? A union man only works eight hours a day. I belong to two... <laughs> Look, it's Igor. Everybody, the whole gang's all here. Except Wolfman, who's in London. Y'all want to turn on some lights or something? 
What's the matter? House of Horrors ain't really a place you want to be in when it's dark. Tell me nothing. It was smart enough to scare me. Ha! <laughs> you make Dougal Cash to come in here and get scared? I'm cheating him. I'm getting scared for nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. There we are. Fun fact, I've never been to a haunted house. I won't Lift go up. to like a scare attract. Like, I'm so scared. I've got just two words to say to you. What is that? Hurry back. <laughs> Why is the phone ringing in that place? And it ain't your phone to answer. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Did you turn out the light? See, you couldn't catch me there. Nah. I can't wait to see this! Nothing expects people to think that Dracula's really in there. We'll open it and see. If you want me, just holler. Oh, uh, What do you want? What kept you? <laughs> Sleeps in this coffin, but rises every night at sunset. Couldn't catch me next to that coffin. Couldn't catch me. Night at sunset. Nah. 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 All of a sudden I heard, <laughs> That's the wind. It should get oiled. <laughs> Lying about stop. the countryside. Stop, 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 stop. Noise to wake up the dead. I don't have to wake him up. He's up. <laughs> I'd just stop reading it. I would have to stop reading it. I would obviously be freaking myself out like he is. He keeps himself alive. You might want to get that candle. I'd simply put my britches. <laughs> Mouth is too dry to whistle, too scared to yell. I'd stop reading. Bad things happen when you read. That's why I don't read. Also, we need to be careful with that candle because if an insurance agent is coming, then we don't want that flipping over and ruining the whole thing. Come on, you? Now, wait a Chick, minute. Chick, you don't see Dracula in the background moving around? You don't see him moving around? They're gonna check it. Ain't nothing in there. But he's behind them. This is so funny. Claim it is not dead even now. Oh, just dormant. What is Frankenstein waiting on to come back alive? Turn around! Turn around! Dracula is also very befuddled right now. He don't know what to do either. Chick. Yeah? Did you hear that? You didn't hear the creaking. You're on the nails. Dracula's like, this mother really don't think I'm here. Come on, take it all out. Nope. Nope. Couldn't be me. Back there. Hide that head, hurry up. Oh my lord. So what do you do now? Yo, dude was tall. Oh, he was just in the casket. He he's a normal height. Okay. <laughs> OMG, what do we do? Dracula, you better not bring him back to life. I guess now I know why Wolfman didn't want him to get together. Very believable, I understand. Yo, the heart started beating in his neck. That was wild. You back, buddy? You back? You are about to be scared. Yup, I would just fake that hypnosis again. Well, if they're not here, where are they? I don't know. They must be stolen. You just gotta speak up, buddy. You got this. Sorry, my company doesn't pay off until a full investigation. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Wow, okay, so Dracula just kind of made Frankenstein his baggage boy. Is that Dr. Frankenstein? Okay, things I expected from this movie. Not a bat spy. My. What, large knockers? Don't walk. He's completely- Look at that huge door! It's dangerous to leave him in this- She is so pretty. This time the monster must have no will of his own. Oh, well, that's not fair. The new brain I've chosen for the monster is so simple. <laughs> Boom, roasted. I saw what I saw when I saw. You did. Do you realize that we spent a whole day and night in jail? Badass. Now stop calling Sandra a dame. I didn't think that was bad. I didn't think dame was bad. Wow, it's like Frankenstein's in the room with us. And nice. he kept getting closer and closer. Nice. And then he did the hand thing. Uh, what did I do? Hey, check. Is he making a joke? Like he used to be. God, go away with it. What? <laughs> I wasn't ready for him to give him a bitch slap, though. Oh, hey, Wolfman made it. Okay, cool. Glad to see he's doing better. I knew they were alive. Oh, oh. Hey! hey Verified and validated. Validated. That's the word. I believe that he's going to try and revive the Frankenstein monster. And you are correct. I haven't time to explain. Bring back Tiny Ties. Bring it back. No matter what you hear or what happens, don't let me out. I cannot wait to see what happens. Lock me in. 
That guy you know, is I'm screwed. filming this on the night of a full moon, so like... Mr. Talbot. First rule, don't unlock the door. What you do, unlock the door. Through his hands. OMG! Stop it. The last movie y'all were in, it was Wax Fruit. You better stop. Now, okay, I was gonna say, did Wilbur remember to lock the door? Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Do not. Okay. It's just a fruit. Eat it. It's fine. Stop it! Stop going back and forth. Persuade the chubby little fella to lead me right to them. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more about dead bodies. Well, I saw what I saw when I saw. See, All right. how do you go wear a tiny tie and still be able to tuck it into your britches? I just think it's the funniest thing. They can't put my little Wilbur in jail. No, they cannot. What I'd like to know is, what has he got that I haven't got? A brain. In a better attitude, honestly. Ah! Uh, excuse me, Miss Ma'am. She's beautiful. I'm Joan Raymond. Now I, need a, now I need a scene of Sandra beating Joan Raymond's butt. Do you believe in love at first sight? Wilbur, darling. Do you need to be knocked down a few pegs, chick? What are we doing tonight? He, he's going to a... With his girlfriend. In case, you'll be awfully lonesome. Well, naturally. <laughs> oh, you irresistible boy. We love some self-confidence. I'll go down to my room and pick up a couple of things and... I think Sandra's prettier. They're both pretty. Do not get me wrong. I think Sandra's prettier. All right, you take Joan, I'll take Sandra. Oh, Sandra sends me. It's a masquerade. You're all gonna wear masks. You could pull it off. You shouldn't, but you could pull it off. And if I have to, why don't you light that cigarette, put on those shoes, and take a walk for yourself? Oh, yeah, y'all gotta check on Wolfman. I forgot his name. So this is Tal Talbot's key. Talbot, that's his name. Boy, what a bender he must have been on last night. So Wolfman is the reason why you have to pay a deposit on hotel rooms now. I turn into a wolf myself. Have you ever killed anyone? Because Dracula and the monster must be destroyed. What's your plan for when you find him? Do you have a plan for that part? Uh, you two kids stay here. I'm going up to get Sandra. Huh? That's not going to be awkward for everybody? You had the best looking one. Sh so what? Yours had teeth. I, look, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> Mine had so much bridge work, every time I kissed her, I had to pay toll. <laughs> oh, you cute. Now, what's Sandra gonna think, <laughs> Wilbur? I mean, I don't know. Sandra might be freaky deaky. She might be into it. Get into it, Wilbur, honestly. Sandra? Dr. Mornay? Well, if that's what she is, I'm just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> also, why did I not realize. I just spit everywhere. Why did I not realize that she was the same person? I just keep Okay, the Dr. Here. Stevens is a stand. cutie. Wilbur? Sandra, hello. I did not realize they were the same person. We'll have to get rid of them. I'll have to get rid of somebody. <laughs> yeah. Look at that dress she has on. I love it. Shall we get going? Just as soon as I put on my costume. Oh, that's not her costume? That's like her. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back to Wilbur. So Sandra, the doctor, is going to use Wilbur's little noggin because he's a simple guy. Sad. Have y'all known that plot this whole time and I just now put two and two together? So to prove to you that I'm your pal, your bosom friend. Bosom friend, am I right? <clears throat> you take Mary. Hi. Yeah, give him the imaginary one. A certain Dr. Lejos has been receiving a lot of electrical equipment. How convenient. You can find the monster and I'll... <laughs> he said nah. He said I tried to do that. Come here! <laughs> Hello! He's gone. So am I. No, you don't. Come here. I'm gonna set... <laughs> and if Dracula is here, he's gonna be wanting breakfast, and I'm fatter than yep. you. <laughs> Boy, yep. you search the basement, I'll search on outside. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> All right, then I'll search on outside, and you search in the basement. That's different. <laughs> Yo! Those are some thick doors. That looks like... That looks like some business that is not yours. Get out of there. Well, broom closet. <laughs> broom closet? With a minor leak issue. What? You tried to sneak out, and I guess you learned the hard way you're not going to. Well, I didn't account for this happening. 
No, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure that helps when you're looking directly into a light. Oh god. Have you noticed that, sir? Have you noticed that? You ever try to throw it back on Frankenstein? Not the hand moving. Not the hand moving. Mm. Did you really have to test that one out? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it, buddy. I have no idea for you. Come on. Exactly, exactly. What is there to not understand? How do you always get so lucky, Wilbur? I would back away from the trap door. Some guy going around. Yeah. No, he's not up here. He's out here. Different. All right, all right, all right. Put your hands down. You're getting your bad guys confused. I thought a masquerade ball, I thought you, you know, wore a mask. Wow, that penmanship is amazing. Okay, Sandra, I love your fit for the ball. Ah! Who screamed? Wilbur. You did. I did. <laughs> A person can get killed that way. I hope what are you doing, Mr. Man? And this is Wilbur. Y'all ran into each other a couple times. What we need today is young blood and brain. Simple brains. Oh, don't be Stop. bad for <laughs> Stop it. If you don't mind. Not at all. Good. Good for you! She done tossed that cigarette somewhere? Operate yourself if you're in such a hurry. Oh. Girl, you knew you were going to get hypnotized. Why would you look? Big bushy eyebrows. Well, I didn't expect her to become a vampire. Well, but I don't think I don't think that play works how you think it works. Not until he tells me where those exhibits are. Well, we're trying to figure that out ourselves, actually. Your my word's as good as yours. Your word is better than his. <laughs> Do it again. I'm sorry, I couldn't see a thing. Uh, Please. He actually doesn't think that's very funny. Is that serious? He'll murder you. That's serious. <laughs> She's no longer just Sandra. Ah. Oh. And Dracula can get away with looking like Dracula because it's a masquerade party and he's supposed to be in costume. My costume, perhaps. No. See? 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 He is Count Dracula. How interesting. Tell me more. Well, let me... <laughs> Me, me. But I must obey my doctor's orders. You gotta do what the doctor tells you. Oh, don't say that, Wilbur. Do you understand, women? I don't even no. try. You shouldn't try. We don't understand ourselves. I love Wilbur. He's even gonna pick her a flower. Are you kidding me? I love Wilbur. <laughs> he didn't give it to her. He kept it. <laughs> I want to be part of you. I want to be in your blood. That was fun until it wasn't. I stuck myself. Oh. I'm bleeding. Let me see. That's blood, you weirdo. Oh. Now she needs to do the fun hand thing that Dracula did. I'll bite. Oh no. I will. <laughs> do you know what could happen if I meet Dracula in the woods? I'll bite. Oh no, you gotta stand in line. Shut up. Joe. What if they went back to the island? Oh, chick. Also, Wilbur, you're with Wolfman. My guy, you knew the moon was gonna happen. You knew it, you knew it. You said it earlier, why'd you go outside? You know what? These effects, they did the best they can with what they had. You're not gonna think about it, Wilbur? He thinks it's Chick. You know, with how clumsy he is, he's not a very good hunter. Not a very good Wolfman. Yo, Wilbur's got some get up and go. He's fast. Hurt. Who like needs the help? Get, get a doctor. Oh, House of Horrors, dude. I don't really care that much about him. But he's been bit a, by Dracula. It was somebody in a wolf's mask. Oh, he got attacked by a wolf man. Don't let that little fella fool you. He's an accomplice. Me! <laughs> 
right in front of his eyes. Hey, Joan, we've been looking for you. <gasps> Don't get in the boat. Chick finally saw it. He finally saw it. McDougal was almost killed last night by either a wolf or a... Guess who did that? Are you sure of that? I saw what I saw when I saw it. You didn't believe Wilbur when he said he saw what he saw when he saw it? Sandra! Sandra! There is no Sandra. Only Zoo. Junior! Do not call Frankenstein Junior, or the creature, sorry. Do not call the creature Junior. He's got to put some WD-40 on the hinges. I'll get rid of Stevens, and you take care of him. I've, I really don't know how we're going to resolve these things. But Sandra, no. how are you going to do all these things? Valid question. You got to take my brain and put it in Junior's body? <gasps> <laughs> and after I've taken Joan back to town, I'm going to have... Just do a little tink. Got him! That must be the entrance to the castle. Come on. The last thing I'd be doing in this circumstance is going through caves. I was going to say, now, why can't we just use Dr. Stevens' head? But they want somebody simple. So, that's got to be Wilbur. Wow, okay, he ain't dead. He's just unconscious. Jeez. Come. <laughs> I wish I was more mature. <laughs> Listen to me, Frankie. Don't let him do it to you. What happened to Junior? I thought that was your cute little nickname. I've had this brain for 30 years and it hasn't worked right yet. <laughs> well, that probably doesn't feel good. Now get out of here. Go ahead. Good job. Thanks. Wilbur said, I'm going. Now come on, get out of here. Come on, not come on in. Grab him right by the boot hole. We gotta get back to the castle. Load up on that come boat. On and regroup when you're safe. Wilbur. Uh, uh. How do you do these scary hands? Be stronger, Wilbur. <laughs> I love Wilbur. I'll tell you what, just being in that room would give me a headache. Good job. That worked out better than I thought. Don't! Now is not the time! Don't do it! You're not gonna take the fresh body in front of you? Okay, whatever they use to grill those... Uh, <laughs> whatever they use to grease those wheels is what he needs to put on his coffin hinges. Look, he's still going. At this point, Wilbur, I think playing dead is like your best bet here. Is he gonna throw her out the window? Hey, save the- He really did throw her out the window. Why don't you get the candlesticks? Isn't he scared of fire? And just be like, back, back I say. I was about to say, doesn't it open out? <laughs> we got too many things happening in too many different rooms. Nice. Ah, I like it. I like this plan. <laughs> that for real scared me. Okay, well, good for you. It's not for, oh. Never mind. Never mind. I spoke way too soon. Never mind. Oh, so when Dracula dies, it's like all his victims are snapped out of it. You still want your exhibits? Of course I do. Well, here comes one of them now. Uh, the other one fell into the ocean, but... One out of two ain't so bad, I guess. Good job, Wilbur! So, Frankenstein, I don't think you know how ladders work. Those don't help fires. There's nobody to frighten us anymore. Oh, that's too bad. I Who? I'm the Invisible Man. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> what? I love that Bella Lugosi was really Dracula in this. Oh my god. Okay, let's talk about it. 
You know what? I am always really pleasantly surprised at how funny some of the super older movies are because like not a lot of people my age, even Gen Xers maybe, uh, I know a lot of millennials haven't and I know for a fact my brother would probably never watch this movie. But something that is so cool that I feel like a lot of modern movies don't have is just the quick wit and like the double meanings of words and phrases in the films. This is another one of those that I don't think I would watch tomorrow, but had a lot of laughs. Even had me at that one jump scare when Frankenstein got through the door. I watched it, it's cute, it's fun, it's a fun adventure, right? Um, of course, of course the effects have aged. But honestly, I think now that's what gives it like so much of its charm. They're so fast paced, they're so witty, and I know like physical comedy isn't everybody's, isn't everybody's vibe. Sometimes physical comedy can come off as like cheesy. I really love it. Uh, the first Abbott and Costello I watched on the channel, I laughed a lot and I was pleasantly surprised. And this one is no different. This is where it gets difficult because it's definitely one that I laughed a lot. I would recommend to people older than me, to people younger than me, to say, although it is old, please give it a shot. Although it is black and white, please give it a shot. Even if you don't appreciate physical comedy, the quick wit, man, the quick wit in these movies will get me any and every time, I swear. Wilbur was such a lovable character, but these weren't the same guys in the first Abbott and Costello I watched. I thought they were gonna be the same people every time, but obviously not. Would I recommend it to people? Yes. I don't love it enough to give it four out of five stars, but it's also not bad enough to get like three out of five. Just because it's older doesn't mean it's bad. Three and a half out of five stars. I don't regret watching it. I really enjoyed it. I just wouldn't watch it again. I think it's one of those watching it once is enough and you always know that it's something you can go back to as a for sure laughable movie if you need a quick hour 22 minute film that's gonna have lots of laughs. Abbott and Costello make Frankenstein. We have another Abbott and Costello movie on the channel. Chris, thank you so much for supporting me, the channel, and Beans Like You Do. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around, because coming up this Friday is the movie The Others. Coming up Monday is Sleepy Hollow from 1999, and uh, it's kind of a two for kind of double dipping. Maybe that's really bad when I say that out loud. I don't really know. But, uh, of course, it's gonna be filmed in night vision. I don't know anything about it. This actually came to my attention when, uh, how I know him as Dumbledore, and maybe you do too, when Michael Gammon died. Um, actually passed away from a bout of pneumonia at the age of 82. And a lot of y'all on YouTube, on Twitch, told me like, OMG, for, kind of forgot about that movie. So I'm really excited about it. That's what's coming up Monday. Next Wednesday is Practical Magic, and then the next Friday is Friday the 13th. So, what better to do than to dive back into that universe with part three. So I hope you like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube-verse. And I'll see you right back here on Monday for more Halloweens. Bye.